Hello friends, I'm going to actually hold off on uh, greeting anybody for a couple of seconds so I can see if we'll have any joiners tonight. I'm excited to be joining you again on a live. So thank you if you're coming on over to join me. Tonight we're going to be unboxing the uh, butometry box I just received in the past week. Um, we have our My Manny box and I have held off opening it until this very moment because I want to share it with you. Um, I'm very excited about this one because it says campfire stories and I have no idea what that actually means. So, um, I know that we're going to get a few stamping plates, I think, in this one. Hey, how you doing, Cassandra? It's so awesome to see you. Um, I, have, I haven't actually mailed out your, your um, thing yet, but it will be going out on Monday. Or Saturday, depending on what happens. Anyway, so thank you for joining me to go through this box. I'm actually very excited because I... I have held off on opening any of this. So I'm going to take away the take away the airbag. And I can't wait to see. So I'm not even going to look at what the, you know, the list is going to be on the postcard, but I'm not even going to look. I'm just going to start opening stuff. So this looks like a purple willow item. Great vendor makes some beautiful things. So I'm very actually I'm already excited about this one. But I'm not good at opening things without destroying. Oh my goodness. This is a great kind of way to cushion something. I really like the perforated paper here. It's so much better than like bubble wrap or something. More sustainable. And it, this looks like I can recycle it. So this is actually pretty cool. Ooh. Okay. So it says... Smoky marshmallow dipped in chocolate. Oh my goodness. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay, I have to I have to smell this guys. Hold on. I've I've learned the hard way when I try to actually I'm gonna I'm gonna go ahead and put a little bit on this because if I try to sniff it right out of the bottle, all I smell is solvent. So Let's see what this is. Purple Willow is just awesome. Okay, I'm gonna let it dry. I'm gonna I'm gonna move on to the other stuff because I still just smell solvent. But this is the thing that happens with these, like top coats and stuff that are scented. I've gotten a number of them in. Uh, what's the word? Ooh, and if you were with me on the uh, October countdown to Halloween calendar, then you know what these are. I know that they may look like, um, you know, <laughs> let's just say uh, symbols of St. Agatha. That's that's our euphemism for the day. Um, and I'm going to open this because I will show you what these do. I have soaked my hands in them and they are so emollient and just I'm so soft. And I'm going to assume that these have a certain scent. So I'm going to, you're going to see me go. I'm going to pull one of these out and I'm going to smell it. Oh my goodness. Talk about campfire. What is this supposed to be? Um, Halloween spice soaking putty. So this is the stuff I tried out before. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to move the box just for a second. And I did know that these were coming. So on my list, I'm going to show you what happens. Because it's really cool. And I have an X-Acto knife that I now can't find. Okay, no, I do. But I do, I should have, I should have like put it aside or something because I know. I'm just gonna put a little bit of it in there because a little goes a wrong way. And it is so cool, it starts to kind of fizzle. I don't know if you can see the fizzling. Let's put some more in. And I give it a ha, and a ha ya. And then I kick her, sir. That is an Anastasia quote. Anyway, 
<laughs> Do I have any fellow Bartok stands? Look at this. So it's it's making, you know, the the water's filling with the shea butter and stuff. And then you do get a bit of a bath fizz effect. So that's really cool. They do last um, longer than um, some of the things. Like, I don't like bath bombs because, like, one-use bath bombs. I just feel like that's not a good use of my money. I'm going to put this back in the box because now it's crumbly because of what I did. Now I'm going to open. This is the last thing that's in here. Oh, yeah. <laughs> It's such a fun movie. I know all the songs by heart. I mean, I grew up in a, I grew up in an LDS family, and with an LDS family, pretty much all you have to occupy you is trivia, or scholarship and music. So we did all those things. And we memorized all of the. Now I dropped the postcard. Great. All right. Let's see. I do like this packaging. Ooh, yes, and we have three stamping plates today. This is an exceptional box. I'm very excited about this because we get a really cool top coat, and I'm going to smell that now. Oh, no, I've been having my stuff in it. I just smell sugar, so maybe later I will smell more things. I'm going to put my, I'm going to put my, uh, exactly knife away. So the thing I'm most excited about here is the Be Loves Plates plate. These are really good and um, and I, I don't have a lot of them. I think I have like two or three Be Loves Plates plates. It, that, is, that is a little kind of repetitive, I know, but so I'll just say that I have two or three of these. I'm gonna, I pulled out my small tile so that I can show everybody how stuff stamps and I'm going to use a Be Loves Plates polish. I have their green and their orange out. Come on. Okay. My cuticles are a bloody mess so I'm just going to pull this glove off and open it. I'm not going to show you all my cuticles though. Things happen when I have five migraine days in a row and I start to get all inflamed in my cuticles. All right, so, oh my goodness, I love this. Okay, so we've got a bunch of leaves, and we're in November now, but this is, I mean, we still have beautiful golden leaves falling from the trees in St. Louis. So I'm going to put a little bit on here, and I'm going to show you how I might use it on a longer nail. Now, I do have an entire video that's dedicated to longer nails, but, um, what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna use one of my kind of junk stampers. So, oops. So that is pretty cool, but I would like to see if it can pick up better for me. And if you're if you're a fan of gloves, if you're using acetone, you do need to use latex gloves because they will just bubble up and destroy that nitrile if you're using those instead of latex. Now I am a little bit sensitive to latex, but as probably I've told you a number of times, but it's okay for just a little bit. All right, so I'm gonna do this thing that I do where I let it sit on the lines for a one Mississippi count. And then now I'm gonna see if I get a better pickup. I did. So I'll show you what I would do on a nail. So there are a couple of ways that you can make this extend. You can try to do it unidirectionally where everything's going the same way. But what I like to do when I'm doing a quick mani is I'll just do the symmetrical thing. So I'm going to let a little bit of stamping polish soak here. If you're wondering and you like this orange, this orange is called Be an Orange. You'll probably notice there's a little bit of a trend with the names of their things. All right, let's be ready. Oh, no, it didn't do it for me. Hey, Ursuline, how are you doing? All right. Oh, I don't know what's going on with this plate. I am, but it is like 80 in here right now. I did not expect it to actually get to 80 today, and I didn't turn on the AC, so this may be one of those 
situations where I let it get too hot and humid in my stamping place. But I am really getting it with the acetone now. Because now I have a point to prove. So here we go. Stroke, 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 stroke. I'm going to use the harder stamping, the harder scraper. Quick roll. We got it. Oh, come on. I'm not going to get a break. I picked up a little bit too much of stamping. And now I have to use... I have to use a sticky base coat now. All right, I'm going to put this aside just so that I can have room to stamp to so you, show you what I do. If you're a new, newer stamper and you haven't used a sticky base coat before, you have a really short time frame in which to get your stamp onto your nail, usually. But if you know you're not going to make that time frame, then you just make sure that it's receptive to the stamp. And that means applying sticky base coat. So while I wait for that to go sticky, I put a lot on. I think I just need to go to the next bottle. I have another bottle of this. It's been really thick the last few times I've used it. So we have a leaf theme plate. Let's see what are in these cookbook. These are Moyu London plates and every My Manny box uh, from Butometry is going to have a Moyu London plate at least in it. So, and these are pretty easy to get off in my experience, the blue film. Ooh, okay, so this is number five. We have chips, burgers, fast food kind of images, and then some desserts over here and pizza. We have tacos and nacho chips, hot dogs. Looks like a lot of fun. I love hamburgers. There, there's a Veggie Tales, um love song about you are my cheeseburger it's very funny although that's probably dating me that bad veggie chills reference all right let's see if this did i wait too long i did not wait too long and that is one of the ways in which i extend the length of a stamp so what i might do if this were on one of my nails is i might go in with a super super fine nail brush well, without the, without the uh, bristles flayed like this. But I, I would go in and then I would maybe just do a couple of connecting lines here where you don't have the veins connecting to the main branch. But anyway, that's, how, that's one way in which I change designs for longer nails. Now let's see what this other plate is. I can't wait to see what we're doing here today. Okay, cookbook collection 01. And we have the chef. We've got a bunch of uh, vegetables. Um, these look like various luncheon foods or the dejeuner. Uh, spoons. Chef. Oh, I love these chefs. I have to see these chefs. And it says Top Chef. Actually, I love that show. All right, let's go. I'm going to move these aside, and before I go, I'm going to try something out with these. I don't quite know what yet. You are finding out as quickly as I am finding out. That's the beauty of a live. All right, let me put these aside. And let's see. I don't want to use any more orange. Um, let's use Hit the Bottles Black, if I have it anywhere here. Here we go. Hit the Bottles Black is one of my very favorite ones. And I'm going to clean off this stamper on my lint roller. And then come on back up and see. I'm going to keep my stiff scraper out because this is a kind of a negative space image. And what we're going to do is we're going to put stamping polish all over it as you see and then we're going to try to keep it very parallel flat down to the plate one swipe i actually expected a bigger disaster because i don't know if you saw my hand jerk in the middle of that swipe but i do have an intermittent tremor and sometimes it ruins the image for me 
but I, I do, I mean, this is the sort of thing you could definitely clean up by hand. I have a brush right here with the kind of bristles that I would use to just sort of, and why don't I show you how I would do that? Because who likes to, you know, who stamps things on their hand, on their natural fingernails, and then is like, oh, well, I should just remove all of the polish and redo that? No, no. You want shortcuts. I want shortcuts. I don't want to have to redo my stamp on my natural nails. That's no good. I hate that. All right. But it is one using, reason why I often, if I'm on my natural nails, I'll use a peel-off base coat. All right, so let's go back to the black. Why don't I not waste my black stamping polish? I'm just going to use this Sinful Colors Black. For some reason, I do like their matte black, the coverage of it, a little bit better than their regular black. So let's zoom in so you can see what I'm up to. And I'm just going to... All right. You need to keep enough polish on your brush to make these lines smooth. And that's probably good enough for me. Close enough for government work, eh? And then I would let that go and I would maybe spray it with some hairspray. I use the hairspray trick when I really don't want to deal with whether my smear smudge proof base coat works. I mean, top coat works. So this is uh, number four Tresemme. This is from the travel equipment kind of bins at Target. I just dropped a stamper off the side of my table. So if you hear a big metallic bang on the floor, that's what that just was. All right. Now I'm going to pull out the black. We're going to try the other stamping plate. That way we'll have tried every stamping plate. And if you have a specific image that you saw and you're watching, let me know. And I will stamp it for you and show you how it works. All right. Let me... I'm using a lot of acetone. That's what happens when you have three stamping plates to display. Whoops. All right. Now I have talked about the uh, hairspray trick before. This is pretty cool. You could do some reverse stamping with this. One thing that I would do with something like this is I'd maybe only color in one of the leaves. I do like that selective coloring in on the reverse stamps. It can make something look really sophisticated. Um, like, okay, so let's just say I used a white base and I stamped over it with black. I could do a couple of nails with a red um, leaf in there and then a couple of nails with like a teal leaf somewhere in there. Red, white, and teal is one of my favorite colorways. Uh, it just, it's, it's got the right kind of contrast, but it's an unexpected color palette. So this is especially awesome for a smush. Manny, if you have seen me do a smush, I do have a bunch of smushes on my channel, but I don't know them right off the hand but any of these negative space plates like the uh, images like that will be good for a smush man now i'm going to try one of these from plate 05 so let's try this hot burger and i'm actually going to do this to show you the difference between uh, black stamping polish and black regular polish so sinful colors polishes tend to stamp pretty okay but I use them only when I want the stamping to like be kind of a background thing. Like I don't, I don't really want the lines to be thick and noticeable. I want it to kind of blend in. I don't know if that makes any sense, but that is what I do. All right. And then, whoop. And I don't know how this plate is going to behave, which is why, whoops. Which is why I just put so much polish on there. But as you can see, I got the payoff. So let me try to fit these both onto the screen at the same time so I can show you the difference. All right, so here we've got, if you compare it to this black, well, maybe not. I was gonna say that it looks like this one's almost like a gray, a light gray, and this one is a full black, but I do have both stamping and hand painting on there, which kind of changes the finish. 
but maybe take my word for it. So this one was in, uh, let me tell you what polish it is in case you want to buy it online. I think it's also at Walmart. And this one is called Blacklist, and that is the matte black. I find it stamps great. And, you know, I don't want to waste my really good stamping polish um, on, on various things. So I do use that from time to time. If I'm just sort of trying out something, I will use regular polishes. Often sinful colors. Sometimes I'll be using Sally Hansen Insta Dry as well. Those last, those are pretty good. Let's do something in the, well, you know what? Why don't I just show you what it would look like to stamp um, over one of those smushes? I'm gonna try to grab something interesting. Let's see, I have this green, I have a kind of a yellow. What else do I have? I have kind of a, an orange. Oh yeah. Um, I think anything can stamp. Uh, you just have to kind of play with it a little bit. We've also got an orange here, but I would prefer not to waste my good orange stamping polish. Let's see if I can find a regular little polish over here. Um, okay, maybe not. Maybe I'll, well, no. <laughs> I'll do this. Okay, so I'm going to make a smush nail just real quick and you can watch me do that I'm gonna pull out only two stampers because I'm only making just a little bit of a smush and I'll put some white down as well this will be an adventure to see if this works out okay and this yellow that I'm not particularly a fan of Kind of get some in there too. And then we have the lighter green that is literally eight years old, but I have used my uh, shaker on it. So I think it's doing okay right this very second. All right, so I don't want to put too much of the green on because I'm using a green stamping polish to do the leaves with. So let's say, let's say this is my smush, okay. I'm going to get a little bit of a smushier smush. I don't like how nice these lines are here, but let's see if I can get them to kind of misbehave. Because you don't want perfect lines in a smush. You really do want the polishes to interact as best you can. Okay, and I'm going to try one more time. This just I want this little bit of green here. That's why the clear stamping polishes are kind of what I use. Here we go. And here is a really neat autumn smush that I just kind of put together. We work with what we've got. And now I'm gonna let it, hey, how are you doing, Lexa? It's so good to see you. I just made a little smush so that I can show you what happens with the negative space leaf stamp on this um, stamping plate here. In this box, we have a Bee Loves Plates plate and it's called Leaves of Happiness. And I had mentioned that this particular stamp would make an excellent autumn leaves stamp. So I'm gonna do that after it has dried on the plate. I really do like doing my little de demonstrations on these ceramic tiles. It's just a neat way to play, like a no consequences way to play with stamping polish and stamping plates, you know? So I think I'm ready, I think we're good. The thing that's magical and wonderful about stamping polishes is how fast they dry. So since I used all stamping polishes here, I think I'm going to be dry by now. Now, this is a negative space image, so once again, I'm using a very stiff card. One of your Starbucks cards, like a gift card, those will work really well for this. You can multi-purpose. I worked at Starbucks when I started stamping, and so I have so many Starbucks cards. All right, so I'm going to put... We're gonna put more polish on than we normally would for a normal image because it's a negative space image. So I usually tend to fill it up halfway. And now I'm gonna pull this, I'm gonna say the th same thing I always say, try to make it parallel to the plate, but not quite parallel to the plate. We're looking for a three to four degree angle down here. And we don't wanna dig. Sometimes we will accidentally dig our plate in. Oh, and this didn't work out for me. 
So I'm going to go ahead and try again. What if I did, I don't know, I don't like the contrast with that green anyway. I'll try it with the red. Now red is a bit of a, oh, I'm so glad you like it. Now with the red, I am dealing with a bit of a, a bear. With red, we have some staining and we need to use multiple cotton pads to get rid of the red. But red is my favorite color and I am unrepentant. Red belongs in autumn scenes. Let's say, let's go ahead and use a little bit more. There we go. I want you to be able to see this image. So let's, it is, it is such an awesome plate, isn't it, Cassandra? Okay, so this is so much more red than I like to use, but I did fill that up halfway. I'm going to put this long way, see if it helps me a little bit. And I'm going to drag really quick. I'm going to roll really quick. I'm going to stick. And there is our imaginary nail. Not bad. I probably do a few of these. Maybe one or two before I started on my real nails. But I actually do like that look. I like this color scheme. I like the orange, the white, the green in there kind of interacting. And tell me what you think. But this is my, I think this is my last, this is my piece de resistance of the evening. Um, I think that smush marble manis are an underappreciated, amazing opportunity for nature's creativity you're kind of i don't know maybe it's physics creativity but it's uh it's a really great surprise when you mush some colors together and see what happens so that is this month's box i am working on a book because it's national novel writing month i don't know if you know that or if you haven't um i used i don't know you may need know that until I was disabled, I was a professional writer and I have not, uh, worked on my book. So that is what I'm doing right this very month. Um, writing a book, a couple of you have volunteered to be my beta readers. Thank you. So I am slowly in the background working on things as I can. I, st I still do have like one or two tour tutorials that I haven't filmed yet, but, um, keep an eye out for a lot for me. Do make sure that a uh, smoosh mani. So you can do a smoosh mani with gel polish. I think it would be a little different because gel and nail lacquer, they, they do kind of behave differently. Gel's a lot stickier. So what a lot of people will do with smoosh manis is with gel is they'll pre-mix the colors by brush and then they'll kind of scoop it off with like a palette and then they'll kind of lay it on their nails and then cure once it gets to a decent thickness to where it's not like it's not like you're putting a pile of glue in the center of your nail. You want to kind of spread it out. So that's that's usually what people do. There are a bunch of YouTube videos. I'm allergic to gel, so I don't do anything really with gel. Um, so I am a very bad person to ask. <laughs> I am so sorry. I have failed you in that department. Um but, uh, I mean, that's, the, so anyway, I'm, I'm working on a couple of longer form videos, including now a review of this box. So, um, thank you so much for joining me tonight. I'm super excited. Uh, I hope you had fun. I had fun. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and turn the AC on now. <laughs> I'll talk to you all later. Thank you so much for joining me.